Hey folks, this is Rack James from ORS Racks Direct here in Vermont. Uh, we are located directly next to a small airport, so if you hear loud sounds in the background, uh, that's what's going on. Today, uh, we're getting gearing up for winter. We're going to go through the rooftop ski and snowboard carriers that we have to offer from Thule, Yakima, and Inno. Uh, I should say Yakima Wispar and Inno. Yakima Wispar. Uh, same company these days. Anyway, we'll start with Thule, and we're going to look here at the 92726 pull top. This can accommodate up to six pairs of skis or four snowboards. Uh, the big feature with the 92726 pull top is the fact that you can slide the carrier outward to the side of the vehicle for easier loading and unloading. Um, so you don't need to be reaching over the top of the vehicle, get your coat all covered in salt. Uh, much easier to load and unload. So you load up your skis and snowboards, and then you simply slide it back into place, flip that lever right there, and close it. Um, other features to point out, the Speedlink mounting hardware is pretty slick. To install or remove it's a matter of turning this knob right here until this strap loosens on the side and off it comes. Very similar design to the 450 crossroad foot. So really really easy installation so if you're moving these you know between vehicles um, or you take it off every time you use it or something like that it's nice certainly a nice feature. Uh, the other thing to point out these do include locks. The Speedlink itself has its own lock core which will lock the carrier to the crossbar and then there's a lock for the carrier itself to lock the skis and boards in place. All right, next to it we've got the 92725 flat top. Um, actually, I'm sorry, this is a 92724 flat top. There's also the 92725 flat top. Um, the difference is the width. So the 92724 is narrower, and uh, this is going to accommodate up to four pairs of skis or two snowboards. The 92725 flat top is as wide as the 92726. So basically, they're identical. Um, the difference is the flat tops don't have the pull away feature, and as a result, they're a little bit lower profile. So if you're concerned about clearance getting into a garage, you can notice that the 92725 and 92724 pull top models are a bit lower. Again, this is the 92724, so it, as you can see, it's narrower than the pull top uh, 92726 and also narrower than the 92725 flat top. And then we've got the good old 91725 Universal. This is sort of an economy carrier. Um, the construction is identical to the 92724 and it's also the same width. Um, it can accommodate up to four pairs of skis. It actually is marketed as accommodating up to six pairs of skis. Um, the difference really is, you know, this used to be the old spec. Uh, nowadays skis have gotten a lot wider. So before this would accommodate six pairs of skis. These days, depending on the type of skis, possibly not. Certainly Nordic skis, no problem at all. Um, but uh, keep in mind that, you know, it, it can carry up to six pairs of skis, but more likely a bit less with today's modern wide skis. Um, but anyway, as far as features go, identical to the flat top models. The difference is the mounting hardware. Doesn't have the speed link. This is just a universal clamping system. Um, it is tamper resistant, so it uses a special wrench to uh, tighten the clamping mechanism. You can't find this wrench at a hardware store, so it's really more of a deterrent. Um, you know, someone can't just come along and grab their Allen wrench and remove the clamp. Um, it also takes a lot more time, you know, to loosen these bolts, uh, you know, to remove the carrier and, and install it. So it's really a convenience thing and security thing that you're kind of giving up for the price. All right, moving on. Over here, let's look at our Wispar in Yakima. We'll start out with the Wispar WB300. Uh, this is the premium Wispar model, and it's designed to work on crossbars that have a channel running in the top. Uh, they call it a flush mount. And you can see how it is, instead of clamped around the bar, it integrates into the T-slot channel at the top. This particular bar, by the way, is a Aeroblade by Thule. Uh, Wisp bars, crossbar, very, very similar. And uh, it also includes uh, clamps that will attach around the bar as well. But if you like a nice flush look, here it is. Um, Feature-wise, you pop it open, and um, this little lever in here is what loosens the tension and by doing that you can remove it but also um, 
tighten it pretty easily as well. Um, so there it is, the WV300 from Wispar. Premium, sleek, looks lovely, and you might wonder why is it not flush, flat against the bar? Well, that's to give you enough clearance so your bindings won't hit your roof. Moving on to the Fat Cat by Yakima. This is the Fat Cat 4, also available in a, fat, in a 6 model. Uh, the difference being 4 pairs of skis maximum or 6 pairs of skis maximum. So the Fat Cat 4 is narrower. Uh, actually, the Fat Cat 6 is essentially this carrier. So Yakima owns Wispar, but they branded this one Wispar. It has the brushed aluminum look and the flush mount feature, whereas the Fat Cat uses these universal clamps only. It's also black. Um, but uh, this will attach, these clamps will attach to pretty much any bar, uh, aero bar or your standard square or round bar in virtually all factory cross bars. Uh, by the way, two of these clamps, the speed link clamps and the universal clamp over there as well, will accommodate square bars, round bars, and virtually all factory bars as well as aero bars. Um, one thing I should point out with the fat cat model, pop this open, um, if you loosen these clamps in here, you can actually rotate these racks a bit to accommodate the curvature of a roof. So if you're mounted to a square bar, which might force the carrier, you know, sort of off parallel to the ground, you can adjust that so you have a nice flat surface for your skis and your boards to lay on, and then those lock back down. Um, these clamps as well work to loosen the clamping mechanism itself. So you just basically turn this a few turns and come on over here and take a look at this. You might want to get on this side um, over here. Come on. There we go, camera guy. There we go. All right, this is important to see. Uh, this is how it works. You loosen the tension a little bit until this little gray tab rises a, a scotch, and then that pops open, uh, and then the clamp comes off just like that. Uh, as far as the tension, you just turn this little dial to adjust how tight that snaps down, and then you turn this a few more times and lock that into place and you're done. Nice feature about the Fat Cat models and the Wispar is they're very, very low profile. So again, with clearance issues, getting into a garage, this is your best bet um, to get in when your skis are not loaded. It will get taller if you do have skis in there, but without skis, it's nice and slim. All right, so there you go. Last, we'll show you just sort of some economy models. This is a Yakima um, Powderhound, sorry, Powderhound 4. There's also a 6, meaning 4 skis maximum or six. Again, an older spec, so more for narrower if you're going with, say, the maximum of four skis. Um, we have this mounted with a optional or the included, I should say, lifter. Uh, you know, it's really not that common that you need lift uh, to lift the rack to get clearance for the roof. Um, the only time you might need it is if you have bars that are really low profile to the roof. Certain factory bars might be. But if you're using standard towers like this, you're already gaining about four inches um, plus an additional few inches. You know, you're getting up to like seven or eight inches before uh, you get to the actual carrying surface. So these are not always necessary. Um, but anyway, just in a basic economy carrier, um, this is the mounting clamp, so it's a universal clamp, and it has a built-in tilt feature as well. So again, you can accommodate for the curvature of a roof, so you can get these nice and flat, parallel with the ground, and lined up with each other. And then last, we've got a couple of Inno models. Here's the INA 927, um, up to six pairs of skis. Uh, it, it accommodates um, skis and boards, and uh, as far as the mounting hardware, Basically, it's pretty slick. You got this little guy right here. You just gotta um, slide off, and that will expose the head of a bolt. Uh, and then this guy flips open. That loosens the tension on the clamp, and then this little bolt here can swing out, and off it can come. So it's a pretty uh, quick on and off. Clamp that back down. Slide this little guy back in place, and you can see that uh, that is quick and easy to mount. And also, when you've got the carrier closed and the key is locked, you can't access that hardware to remove it. So one uh, lock will lock it, the, the skis and boards, into the carrier as well as locking the carrier itself onto the bar. And then last but not least, we've got the um, Inno INA 945 uh, rail slider and this is similar to the Thule model where it has the sliding feature. Lift up this guy right here and then I can slide out to the side of the vehicle for easier loading. When you're done you slide it back in and you lock it down. As far as mounting hardware on this guy, um, 
if you come over on this side, I can show you. There's a little, <laughs> little lever right here. You pop that open, you push this button, and this guy comes down, and that takes all the tension off the clamp, and then you just swing. Um, you might have to loosen that just a few turns out, and off it can come. To put it back on, you just hook that through the bolt. Again, you can loosen this if you need a little room. Um, tighten it a few turns if you need to. Click that into place, throw that back on there, and you're done. So again, that locks with one key. It locks the skis and boards into the carrier as well as locking the mounting hardware onto the crossbar. All right, so there, <laughs> quick and dirty overview of our ski and snowboard rooftop carriers. For a better in-depth look, check our product pages for the individual carriers on ORS Racks Direct. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.